Hey everybody, April 14th, around about 1.30 or so in the afternoon, it got cold again. Yesterday was beautiful, just downright beautiful. People running around in shorts and stuff. Today, I got my sweatshirt on and I'm cold again. I said it's supposed to snow again tonight. So I thought, well, yesterday I'd take advantage of it. Went ahead and put some lights up in my Suburban. Kind of like the slick top look. Yeah, I was going to do the doghouse, but it was too cold. So, I'll just shoot a video today. Uh, got the LEDs, those are linears. I don't, don't even remember who makes them, but they're out of the way. They're pretty bright. They're snug, they don't rattle. Um, they were used. Somebody offered me a challenge to do this vehicle with all either used or home fabricated parts. Look at that. Flip them on here. I got everything run to one switch. Right there, got the little blue light to tell me. It's also got these lights up here to tell me. I got a one head. Has a loose wire, loose power wire. I gotta take it apart and fix it. But that's here and there. That could have been bouncing around in the other vehicle. I'll do this too while I'm here. There we go. You can see it's weather's doing crazy stuff. All right, there they are. See that one that's whoop, right there. Yeah, I don't know if it's power or ground, but every once in a while you bump around and it'll come on. So there's that. That ought to get people's attention. I like the slick look. Back here, nice little light going there. And getting through the tent, the linears are better for that. Even the TIR threes are better. But yeah, you take that tent out of the way, and it's pretty bright. Uh, I didn't have any power back here for it, so I ran a a uh, couple power wires back, hooked up a Bell triple 12 volt outlet. Um, it was like 10 bucks or something. But I wanted this to be able to run off that single switch up there. Let's see the lights on on the dash. But I wanted it to run off that switch for the lights and the LEDs. So I cut the bar inside. I took this apart, cut the bar, soldered new wires onto just this one. So it's totally independent of the other two. These are hot all the time, or they will be as soon as I hook the wire up up there tomorrow. Um, yeah. So now I've got 12 volt capability back here. If I need a spotlight or something, I can do that. And I've got for my LEDs. Nice, it tucks in. Nothing hits the window. Um, yeah. Get an off angle of those pretty good. That one up by one not working right it's bugging me but I'll get it fixed everything runs into the fuse box and is fused everything runs through the single switch there I've got the wire coming down for the the two other accessory plugs back there um, I'm gonna get before I put power to them I want to get little little plugs like that to uh, keep stuff from getting in there and causing a problem. Uh, the wires for all that, they run up along that rail or whatever you want to call it there, which houses the heating unit for the back. It runs up and across. I took all the trim out, ran it down through and across. And yeah, everything's soldered together. Everything's hardwired. The only wires you see is the little bits 
where it had to just to go from the trim to the pod or the trim to you know you can see back there it runs into that Let's see if I can zoom it in here right there it runs up along that mount that right there Let's see if I can do this this mount on this side yeah I'm too far away but anyway there's only about an inch and a half of wire showing there and a little bit there to plug. I got about inch and a half there and then the up there in the corner and then the wire that connects the two pods together right here. Um, so that's what I did yesterday. We like doing clean installs. Um, not the best vehicle in the world but we're working on it. So everything's going to be used rebuilt or fabricated here the light were used the only thing that wasn't used was the wire and with the good chances of wiring catching fire i'm gonna use new wire i don't want to compromise or uh chance compromised installation insulation or anything yeah i'm tired guys okay well, there it is. There's my new blue LEDs for my POV, for my VFD operations. <laughs> Some of you guys get a kick out of that. Um, yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to hop off here, and we'll talk to you later. I think I just got another idea. We'll see what happens. Stay safe.